Hello and welcome to another video. This is Muhammad Bakri from Community of Babel and today we are going to study the adjectives in Arabic, the, the types of adjectives and the most used adjectives in the Arabic language. So let's start. There are two types of adjectives in Arabic. The first type is attributive adjectives and the second type is predicative adjectives. Attributive adjectives, from its name, it's an attribute of the subject and it must agree with the subject in terms of definiteness, in terms of gender, and in terms of number. So, for example, here, Al-Amir Al-Saghir. Al-Amir, it means the prince. Al-Amir, Amir means prince. And Saghir means young or little or small. So, uh, Al-Amir Al-Saghir, uh, little or small, uh, when it's used with a human being, it means uh, young. So, the young prince, Al-Amir al -Sahir. So, it's a phrase, it's not uh, a sentence. Uh, here, Al-Bint Al-Jamila. Al-Bint Al-Jamila, Bint means girl. Jamila means beautiful. So, Al-Bint Al-Jamila, the beautiful girl. Always, the, the adjective always comes after uh, the subject. So, here, in the attributive uh, adjectives, uh, it's not... Uh, it's not a sentence. It just, uh, it's just, um, it's not. It's not. It's not a sentence. It's just an attribute of the subject. The second type is predicative adjectives. Uh, in predicative adjectives, it's it's a complete sentence and it's used to describe the subject. So, for example, here, Al Amir Saghir, Al Amir Saghir, the prince is. Young, because in Arabic we don't use a uh, verb to be in the present tense. So here the prince is young. So the only difference is that the, the adjective uh, doesn't uh, is always uh, indefinite. It's, it's always indefinite. It doesn't. It agrees with the subject in terms of uh, gender and in terms of number, but it's not. It's not definite. So here Al Amir, the the prince. Here, young. The prince is young. Al-bint Jamila. The girl is beautiful. So what are the most used adjectives in the Arabic language? Uh, the first one is Kabir. Kabir. And the feminine is Kabira. We just add Ta Marbuta. So Kabira. Kabir, it means big and it means old if you're talking about people. Because uh, a lot of people use this adjective. Adjective, uh, which means uh, which is qadim, then uh, how I will be because a lot of people use this adjective qadim uh, for old, okay, but it uh, it's used only for objects. So, for example, here, ar rajul kabir rajul means man, ar rajul kabir the man is old, okay, and the opposite is sagir. Sagir and the feminine is Sagira. We add ta marbuta. Sagira. Okay, Sagira means young if you're talking about a person uh, and it means small if you're talking about uh, an object. So Al Walad Sagir. Al Walad Walad means uh, boy. The boy is young. Al Walad Sagir. And here Qadim. Uh, we have here the example. As-Sama'a Qadima. Sama'a means headphone. The headphone is old. As-Sama'a Qadima. So for objects, we use this Qadim or Qadima. And the opposite is Jadid. Jadid or Jadida. Jadida. We add Ta Marbuta for the feminine. Jadid means new. So here, Al-Kitab Jadid. Al-Kitab Jadid. The book is new. The next one is Kathir or Kathira. Kathir means many or much. Okay, so for example here, Hatha Kathir. Okay, we, uh, Hatha means this. So this is much or this is too much, like in English. Hatha Kathir, in English it would be this is too much. The opposite is Qalil or Qalila, if we add Marbuta, Qalila. Qalil. So, for example, here, al-ma' qalil, ma' means water, ma' al-ma' 
قليل like there's little water in there the next one is طويل the, the feminine is طويلة طويل طويلة means tall or long so here الولد طويل the boy is tall الولد طويل and the opposite is قصيرة أو قصير قصير is the, the masculine قصير قصيرة feminine means short البنت قصيرة بنت means girl the البنت قصيرة the girl is short the next one is جميل جميل and جميلة feminine uh, it means beautiful البنت جميلة البنت جميلة the girl is beautiful and the next one is جيد جيد means good جيد and the feminine is جيدة جيدة so for example الكتاب which means the book الكتاب جيد the book is good الكتاب جيد and the opposite is سيء 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 I know the pronunciation is a little bit difficult سيء means bad سيئة سيئة means uh, the feminine means bad so الفيلم سيء the movie is bad الفيلم سيء so these are the, the most used adjectives in the Arabic language. I hope this video has been useful to you. You can subscribe uh, to our channel for more videos and you can visit our website for more lessons. Thank you and see you in future videos.